are you going to Maui? I'm so excited for you. We just got back and had the most amazing time. We actually did so much that I had to break up our itinerary into two separate videos. So you are catching video number two. This one actually features some elements that are not gonna be available year round. So check your timing and whether what we did pertains to when you will be visiting. Let's jump into our Maui adventure and hopefully what we did inspires your itinerary and some options for you when you go visit Maui. We met at the Sheraton Kanapali and after a short walk, boarded the boat, which was an interesting process because they would wait for the waves to go out and then scurry a group of us up the stairs. Whale watching season for humpbacks in Maui is December through April and it wasn't long until we saw a group of whales, likely a mother, baby, and a consort. Look at the tail flip! We were served fruit and cinnamon rolls and also pog mosas, champagne with pog juice. It was so surreal and devastating to look back on the island and see the town of Lahaina all dark and burned from the fires they had the year before. This whale at a distance on the left did 30 or more consecutive tail slaps. We actually lost count. Aw, aren't we cute? Our guides told us that the whales responded to encouragement, so we tried it. For those that remember Finding Nemo, like Dory had it right. Sopranos in there, there's some basses, some tenors. One of the coolest things was getting to listen to the sounds that the whales were making in the ocean. They said they carried for five to ten miles. We wrapped up the tour hanging out for about 15 minutes with a mom, baby, and another consort. They weren't very active. We think they might have actually been sleeping, but it was the coolest thing to just hang out with these majestic, amazing animals. Here comes Nick. Back to our hotel so I could hula hoop for 10 minutes. Oh yeah, I'm doing a hula hoop challenge. More on that later. And then we drove about an hour with our friends, David and Nicole Ray, who we were traveling with, to Waialea, where we stopped in at Tommy Bahama for lunch. Look at that bread they brought. Mmm, yummy. We made friends with a stranger at the shops, and then Nicole wanted to go fishing. Do you want me to buy you a fish? Uh, nothing. Do you want me to buy you a fish? No. This fish? I don't think they're fish. Oh. So, okay, do you want me to buy you a fish? Yeah, I'll buy you a fish. Okay. Yeah, no. Sierra, do you want me to buy you a fish? No. After picking up and not purchasing all the fish in the store, we went to Lapert's Hawaii for ice cream. They had amazing tropical flavor options. And then Nicole wanted to stop in the Honolulu Cookie Company to pick up some shortbread to take home. They had lots of delicious flavors. It's a little too much. Why do you see a narwhal in your life? What? We saw some beautiful rainbows on the way home, but there was also the devastation of seeing the town that had been burned. After pickleball in the rain, yes, Nick and I lost to David and Nicole, we decided to head out and catch the sunset. It was my last day of my hula hoop challenge, so I wanted to try and hula hoop in the sunset, which was a glorious way to end my challenge. I will never get over the view from our room. It really is paradise. Just a quick interruption to say, if you're enjoying this, would you please, please, please consider hitting that thumbs up button because that's how YouTube tells that you're enjoying this. It's how I know that you're enjoying it and that you wanna see more content like this. If you're not liking it, then don't hit it. Nick stood in line before 7 a.m. to get Poppy's Ohana cinnamon rolls, which were so good and apparently they close when they sell out. These had us park on the side of the road and we started down a trail with lots of warning signs and it was super muddy and covered in vines and really damp and sprinkling on us the whole time. I wasn't really sure where we were going, but there were lots of chickens, so that was cute. And then we came to an opening and it was Honolulu Bay, a very rocky, non-sand beach. It was a little challenging to get into the water due to the wet and slippery rocks, but once we did, because it was protected and there were no waves, the snorkeling was amazing. The best part, we could actually hear the whales communicating with each other under the water. After the rocky beach, we were ready for some sand, and DT Fleming Beach Park was a beautiful sand beach with plenty of parking and restrooms. So we're at the beach and it's raining big fat raindrops. So we got the sandy beach, but it's cold and the waves are really high. So we decide, well, maybe we'll go to the burger shack for some adult milkshakes. 
After all, I think it was about 11 o'clock. After noting to beware of chickens, our adult milkshakes arrived and they worked so good. We all had to take photos of them and photos of ourselves. And then a little bird came to the table and it was just a delightful time there at the Burger Shack. We went to Maui Brewing Company in Whalers Village and we had been to the one in Lahaina before. While they had a cute bird at the table, they were out of a lot of their beer. So I don't know if that was because we were there in the off season or this location just didn't have a lot, but the Mai Tai was pretty good. We saw another rainbow as we were getting ready to go to dinner. I just love all the rainbows. And then we were off to Mala Ocean Cavern for dinner. It was so surreal because it's on the edge of the Lahaina downtown district that for the most part didn't exist anymore. The seared ahi bruschetta was amazing and I opted for the catch of the day. It was delicious. I actually caught a cold in Hawaii and so our last day we went for a slower walk along the beach. It was the same walk as the boardwalk but on the sand and we didn't go quite as far. It was pretty to see the undeveloped areas and how the trees grew out of the sand. There were reminders everywhere of the devastation that had occurred on the island. No trip to Hawaii would be complete without a visit to the ABC store, which is their version of a convenience store, kind of like a 7-Eleven, but this one featured prime rib. I wasn't sure I trusted that, but I was pretty interested in all the different tapioca and ube flavored products there. So yep, I ended up taking home a little bit of ube tapioca to try in our hotel room. New month, new challenge. This time it's push-ups. And then we went back to Taverna for dinner again. We had been there a couple nights before and it was so good, we wanted to go back. Not only was their pizza delicious, but Nick determined after about a dozen different other options that this was the best Mai Tai on the whole island. One last rainbow on our way home and then a final glimpse at the memorial to all those who lost their lives in the Lahaina fire. And then we were off. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I'm gonna link that other Maui video here so you can go check out part one and see what else we did on the first part of our trip. None of part one is seasonal. You can do any of those any time of the year. Also, please consider subscribing. It is free for you. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and you don't have to do anything else. You don't even have to watch another one of my videos, but I hope you do. But I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. I'm almost halfway there. And that would actually mean a lot to me if you are enjoying travel videos or I did my first haul video last week. I'm also doing monthly challenges. So I would love for you to join me in my journeys and go pet a dog.